find this to be very funny. So, I do this video today, right? Because I read the bottom of my screen. I read, I read the bottom of my screen. And I was upset what I read. So, I did a video asking people, you know, first of all, not every black person does crack. Okay? So, when you don't like my videos, uh, the first thing you say is stay off crack, N word, or that N word is on crack. So, the video I did was uh, asking people the ultimate question. I brought forth every stereotype about white people I could possibly think of at that minute and I looked at the camera and I'm saying do white people this do white people that do white people do this is all white people on methamphetamine do all white people snort cocaine do all white people I went through this whole list of all these foul things I've ever heard about white people and I asked that question are all white people like this so minding my own business and everything and I noticed while I was doing that video video stopped no video it's just like froze like on my shirt just froze I'm like okay but the audio was still playing so I said you know what after previewing this video I'm like it is good enough to get my point across it is now 346 p.m. I put up the video around noon so three and a half hours of people uh, in the control booth are figuring out, am I a bad person or not? I, there's no reason for this video not to be on YouTube. And people will say I'm extremely paranoid because when stuff like this happens, I think it's the content of the words I'm using that normally get me this drama. Something bit me on the neck. Something bit me right here too, though. So, um... This video is pretty much a recap of that video. I'm tired of people having nothing to say, but you're on drugs, you don't know, you're high. Um, you don't agree with somebody, say, you know, your video sucks, bah, that's it. This video sucked. But it seems as if the small-minded people out there only can call names and make up stuff. This nigger's on dope. I said the N-word. I said I wouldn't say it this month on my videos, and I didn't, uh, except for one video I played it being said. That's the first time I've said this since I've said that. That was five days before this month started. So, I'm just tired of them dropping in bombs on me, calling me a dope fiend, saying all this and that stuff. But I want to say something right now, and I want to prove something to people. Now, if I was on dope and all of that stuff, I wouldn't have what I have. I have big screen TVs all over this place. I got a laptop. There's a laptop there. A laptop right there. Picture frame. Digital. 301 disc DVD player. Direct TV. Um. I'm in a house. Not an apartment. I'm not on the streets. I can wash my ass when I want to. I can go in the backyard and get naked if I want to. And jump in my swimming pool not in an apartment I don't live with a bunch of family members so when people want to say some negative stuff about me I suggest you go through my videos find something in one of those videos and then attack like a pit bull who's never eaten and Michael Vick is walking down the hallway looking for him attack you come at me with something other than some negativity Ooh, this N words on crack. And like I said in that video, does every white person do methamphetamines and snort cocaine? Do I have to go through every white person's video and if I don't like them, this cracker's on meth? See, children do not need YouTube. There's some kids mature enough out there to look at a video and say, you know what, I don't like this guy. And they'll type, you're wrong in your video. The little girl who whose friend was killed by the black guy or whatever her cousin was there and I made some statements and she typed it out you know hey dude you're wrong you don't know what happened she could have easily said n-word go die I'm tired of people being so immature that the first thing they want to say is drop a, a bomb on you cuss you out uh, 
and tell you that you should die. I mean, people are threatening to kill me because they didn't like the video. They don't like the video, so I gotta die. Die in word die. YouTube, are you gonna do something about this? Or am I gonna have to get my video camera, the real one? Film all this hateful shit and put it on people's websites? This is what YouTube allows regular people to say. They allow people to threaten people. And, uh, and you look at this, and, and, and one of their uh, slogans was, have you ever wanted to talk back to a video or comment on a video? Now, if ABC, NBC, CBS, and all those things that have rottened our brains over the years came up with an idea where you can type stuff on the bottom of the screen, if they did that, do you think in life that on public television, you're going to look at the bottom of the screen and it says, die, N-word, die. You think they're going to allow that on a network? See, threats like that need to be taken serious by YouTube. You can run that shit back, get the IP address, and shut them motherfuckers down. But you don't. Now, if there's some kind of way to find somebody's IP address and publish that shit, to let you know exactly where the bullshit is coming from. Come on. If I go out here, if I look at the camera and threaten to do something sinister, you find me then, won't you? You need to shut some of these motherfuckers down, YouTube. Because before I get any more death threats, I'm going to make a whole bunch of shit seen. So bring it. You've been too. Yeah, they're going to cut this video too because they've been cutting the end of my videos off. All my videos get cut. They don't show up. Say something positive. It doesn't go on the internet. I got a feeling that this video won't be processed in time for anybody to see it either. So, for you people over in the control room, control yourselves. Equality is not just for you. It's for everybody. And these people who who make threats and, and make accusations, I mean, please. For what you know about crackheads, dope things and stuff, N-words, is, is, from what you know about these things, you don't know shit. And I mean, some of the people on the other side of this camera are so confined to the box in which they live in that if that box ever fell open and they ever rolled out they just die reality is definitely not what you think it is and this is going directly to that, that last person that typed something negative to me because that was the straw man I can get on YouTube and spout and spout every negative stereotype about white people imaginary for what for what what would the purpose of why why well, I got this in Hawaii pay too much for it Yep. Pay too much for it. This. This came from where it looks like it came from. The Krasilinski oil paintings. I am. Not I think I am. I am. Don't forget that. 